confident. No. It's more a sense of dread than nerves. Okay, that's just going, nice. Yeah. Oh, God, I've got to actually do. Oh, it's, God. it's basically, you know what it is? Uh-huh. It's literally just, I've got to go to work now. I'd emailed this uh, a local venue to ask if I could do comedy mm-hmm. there at maybe 16. And they said, oh, we've stopped running that open mic night. And then about a year later, they emailed me back saying, oh, we are running one, actually, if you do want to come and do it. Mm-hmm. And I remember showing the email to my mum and saying, well... I guess it's time I stopped making excuses. She was like, Reese, you're 17. You've made no excuses for not doing this. No one else has done this this early. And also at the time, every comedian on telly was 50. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I did think that it was impossible. Uh-huh. And then it was just around the time Jack Whitehall basically started breaking through on TV, which is the only place you can see comedy at 17 mm-hmm. because it's famously in over 18 venues. Uh, yeah. So there's nowhere I could have gone live to watch it. And then he started breaking through and I looked him up and I was like, he's 18. He is young he's like me. I could go do this. And then I've also I thought, then I'll get on the circuit and I'll have a real USP because I'll be the only young comedian. You get on the circuit, everyone is saying Everyone's doing it. Oh, great. Yeah, everyone's at uni <laughs> doing it. And yeah, right. I look like everyone else. Yeah. I sound like everyone else. Yeah, great. Yeah. Wonderful. And how is it now when you go to Edinburgh? Because I imagine the first time you go, mm. you know, is it quite terrifying? Now when you go, are you like, it's me, you know, from, <laughs> from sell-out tours and television shows? Is I that pop a different out of that vibe? limo and get I'm out just... Get limo. I'm just humble, actually. Yeah. The second I step out of that limo, <laughs> I'm salt of the earth. Yeah, <laughs> You know, I'm straight away. I'm, yeah. I'm one of you. I look yeah. at all the Scots and what I go, I'm just, I'm just like you. But do you get nervous still for, for shows and, and going up to Edinburgh? Yeah, a little bit. No, that was a no. No, no I do. Like, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. It's more, it's, I'd say it's not, it's not nerves, nerves before the show. Especially this one, because this will be like a run of a show I've been touring around the country. Right. So if it doesn't work by now then come on, I've got no yeah, excuse. Yeah. So it should be fine, basically. It should, <laughs> there you go. But that's how I'm talking. Yeah. It should be fine. It, it should be fine. Not confident. No. It's more a sense of dread than nerves. Okay, that's going, nice. Oh, yeah. God, I've got to actually do... Oh, it's, God. it's basically, you know what it is? Uh-huh. It's literally just, I've got to go to work now. Yeah. It's the same as anyone else. Yeah. And once you're at work, it's a bit like when you're like, oh, God, I don't want to go to school. And your mum would always say, once you're there, you enjoy it. And that's what, how I feel about comedy. <laughs> you go, I can't believe I've got to go and do comedy. And then on stage, you go, this is brilliant. This is I the best this. thing in the world. Yeah. And then every now and then it'll go badly. And you yeah, go, no, it goes bad. Shouldn't have yeah, come. No, shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have done shouldn't it. Have done Fire it. up the limo. 